everybody. I'm here today to talk to you about a Dyson hair dryer that is not powering on. I'll be going over some easy fixes to try first in this very simplistic step-by-step -step tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I'll be going over five fixes and these are all super easy and quick. So let's get into this. Try these out. Hopefully one of them works for you. Number one is to check the power source. I know this sounds simple and straightforward and it is, but you would be surprised at the number of people that think that the problem is within the product when in reality it's just their power source that's not working. You never know when a fuse will be blown or when a GFCI will be tripped, which, I, which I'll go over in the future, or when, a, when a, a circuit breaker will be tripped as well, okay? And you never know when, you know, you're just using a plug and you assume it works properly, but it's not working properly, okay? So check the power source. Plug something else into that exact power source and make sure that it works. And then you can say that the power source works properly, okay? Check the power source is number one. If that doesn't help you out and your power source is already working fine, uh, move on to number two, which is to inspect the cord for damage and wear. So you're going to want to take a look at the cord. Now this cord is all twisted because I literally had it wrapped around this to store it away easily while I brought it uh, into my car as a video prop. Um, but usually it would be nice and loosely uh, loosely hanging. But essentially, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry, 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 we're going to keep going. Um, essentially, uh, you want to look at the cord for damage and wear. So you want to just take a look at the cord. I broke my character for there for a few seconds. Eh? That rarely happens. That rarely, I rarely will laugh in a video at something stupid that I said, but you know what? You gotta break your character every once in a while, show your true colors, show your show the funny side of yourself. Um, so essentially, you wanna inspect the cord and also where it connects to the hairdryer for damage and wear. Don't just look at it briefly. Go along the entire length of the cord, look around the entire thing, and make sure there's no damage or wear. So you can see right here, there's a whole bunch of crinkles over here, but it's not damaged or worn. But that, to me, would be something that I would look at and I'd inspect it a little bit further. If the cord shows any sign, sign of fraying or cutting, or damage or breaking, you want to avoid using it, okay? It's not worth it because then it poses an electrical safety risk, electrical shock risk, whatever you want to call it. Also, take a look at where it connects to this, uh, I think this is like a transformer, I guess, where it connects to this little box thing over here. Inspect it, make sure it looks okay. If that doesn't help you out, move on to number three, which is to clean the dust or air filter. This is your air filter right here. You can open it up by just twisting it and then removing it and then clean off all of the dust in there. Um, on occasion, if it is super dusty, it won't turn on. As far as I know, it'll produce like an error code. It is a rare uh, okay, it is a rare occurrence where it will be so dusty that it won't turn on, but as far as I know, it's possible, but it's very rare. So clean it out, really easy to do, it's worth trying out. If that doesn't help you out, move on to number four, which is to unplug it and let it cool down for 10 or 15 minutes. Maybe you just overheated the unit and maybe you didn't even use it for a long time but maybe you just overheated it so unplug it let it cool down for 10 or 15 minutes give that a try and then plug it back in and see if it helps you out if that doesn't help you i'll move on to fix number five which is to make sure that your gfci uh your, your gfci has not been tripped now most likely you're using this in a bathroom okay and most or by a sink somewhere most likely the outlet that is in your bathroom by your sink is going to be gfci outlet or even if here's the thing here's why i put this as a separate thing let's say your outlet in your bathroom is not gfci itself maybe it's likely going to be connected to a gfci further behind it within the line so some bathrooms won't have a gfci in them but they're still gfci protected meaning that outlet over there doesn't look like a GFCI, but it probably is connected to a different GFCI in your house or a GFCI circuit breaker on your panel and that might have tripped so just check it out Look at the other GFCIs in your house, see if they have tripped and you know, you'd look from there, but definitely take a look and do some research into the GFCI situation. Um, whether it one might have tripped that one specifically or a different one else that's connected to it might have tripped, which would have caused uh, no power to go to the unit and that's what was causing it to potentially not power on. But that's it. If your Dyson air dryer is not powering on, these are some easy fixes to try first to hopefully fix your problem. If you like this video tutorial slash explanation, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.